Hello all the kids so welcome to the YouTube channel of Oda class so kids today we are going to learn one more new topic with me which is nikhilam sutra of subtraction so you all must be wondering that what is this nikhilam sutra of subtraction it's a fun and easy way to learn subtraction so are you all ready to learn this easy and fun way of subtraction with me okay great all of you so before that uh, i would like to tell you all that we have our own platform which is oda class and it is the most innovative and learn most innovative live learning app which you can find on play store and you all can download it from google play store and why we are innovative that you will get to know once you will scroll our app so in our app you all may find one bridge course which is starting from monday which is today so in this bridge course program the duration will be one week long and during this program you all will be getting three maths and three science sessions and these math sessions will be taught to you using very special techniques and vedic matrix and the science topics will be taught to you again with the special techniques like mind mapping use of gifs and videos so that you can learn any topic very easily and besides that you will be getting the personal teacher support because here at oda we follow dual teacher model system one master teacher and one mentor teacher and what is best about it that you are getting subject specific teachers all right besides that kids you will be getting homework on app test on app as well as books in the pdf form for your practice so if you like the features of this program you all can enroll in our bridge course program now you must be wondering that how to enroll so in the description box you all may find one link you have to click on that link right now once you will click on that link it will show you the pop up of enroll now button then click on enroll now and complete the payment of just rupees 29 since you are joining our youtube platform so we are providing you all the special discount otherwise the course fee is rupees 499 and you are getting it in just rupees 29 so fast tap on the link in the description box and get enrolled okay so now let me introduce myself i am your teacher srishti mahajan I will be a mathematics master teacher. I have done my post graduation from Oxford College of Education, and I have more than three years of teaching experience, and I have mentored thirty thousand plus kids. So I hope you all will enjoy with me and have a fun session. So kids, we are learning Vedic maths. So why we should learn Vedic maths? What are its importance? first it will help you to eradicate the fear of mathematics many kids develop the fear of mathematics when they move to the higher classes but by learning vedic maths it will be more easier and you will enjoy learning mathematics as the subject secondly you will be able to fasten your calculation skills and you will be able to do time based questions within time besides that it will train your brain in such a way that you can solve the questions in a fraction of minute or even fraction of seconds sometimes as well as it helps to map the learning level of the kid uh, through practice more you practice more you will learn that how you are able to perform in the mathematics subject so kids what we are doing today today we are learning high speed subtraction as i told today we are going to learn nikhilam sutra which is the fun and easy way of performing subtraction so kids we are learning nikhilam sutra so what is this nikhilam sutra nikhilam sutra is subtracting the last digit from 10 and rest all from 9 so let us see the very first example with me here i have 1000 minus 
773. So what you have to do? You have to subtract each figure from 9 but the last one from 10. Now you all must be confused that what ma'am is saying here. So let us see it with our way. Okay. So what you are supposed to do? 1000 minus 773. So let me write it in the conventional method. 1000 minus 773. So how you have to do it? What I told, you have to subtract the last digit from 10 and rest all from 9. Now, what is last digit? So, in our number system, we have some place values, right? This is 1's place, this is 10's, this is 100, and this one is 1000, okay? This one is 1000. So, the last place is the 1's place. So, we have to subtract the last place from 10, which is 3. So, I will be subtracting 3 from 10, while the rest all from 9. This from 9, this from 9. Now, can you relate it? Now, can you all relate it? Please give me a 1 if you all can relate the steps with me. So, I have subtracted 7 from 9. Again, 7 from 9 and 3 from 10. So, what is 10 minus 3, kids? Tell me fast. What is 10 minus 3? Very good. It is 7. What is 9 minus 7? It is 2. What is 9 minus 7? Again, it is 2. Now, what will happen to this one? So, for this one, you have to always take a predecessor. So, what is predecessor? The number which comes before. So what comes before 1? Before 1 comes 0. Very good. Correct. So I will be putting 0 here. But if I put 0 here, does it make any sense? No, right? Even then, the number is 227. So this 0 doesn't make any sense. So our answer is done. I hope you all get the trick well. If you all get the trick, please give me a one in the chat box. We'll be doing some practice-based questions on this trick. So, after learning this trick, tell me kids, which method you will prefer? The conventional method or the Vedic method? So, let us try solving this question using conventional method as well as the Vedic method. So, you can decide better which method is more better. So, over here, we have... We have 1 lakh minus 78967. 789. Wait a second. We have 78967. So we have to subtract it. We'll be doing this question using the conventional method as well as the Vedic method so that we have the clear idea that which one is more better. So are you all ready to do it with me? Tell me, are you all ready to do it with me? Okay, great. So now let's try solving both the questions using the conventional and Vedic method. When we do the conventional method, we have to do borrowing, right? So I will be starting from here. So I will start borrowing from my neighbor. My neighbor doesn't have anything. So again, this will be cut off. Again, this will be cut off. This will be cut off. This will be cut off. Finally, we get from 1. 1 becomes 0. Then it will become 10. Correct? Now, this will give 1 to this. Okay. And now, this will become 9. This will become 10. This will become 9. This will become 10. This will become 9. And finally, this will become 10. So, see, there is a lot of chaos created here. This is so much of rough work to do. So, now we got the answer. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 6 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. Sorry, 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 7 is 2. 
so we got our answer 21033 but when we do the vedic math what we have to do last from 10 all from 9 so simply 10 9 9 9 9 so what is 10 minus 7 it is 3 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 9 is 0 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 7 is 2 again we got the same answer but so fast am i right so which one is better conventional method or the vedic method tell me in the chat box you can type c for conventional you can type v for vedic we found that in conventional method we had to do lot of work and it created a mess over here whereas this work is so clean and we solved the question so fast right so now let us try some questions based on this trick are you all ready okay so over here we have such large question and we will be doing it in very less time so what we are supposed to do subtract the last one from 10 and rest all from 9 correct so just observe the pattern here everybody so 10 minus 9 is 1 then we have 9 minus 4 which is 5 then we have 9 minus 3 which is 6 then we have 9 minus 4, which is 5. Then we have 9 minus 0, which is 9. And then we have 9 minus 1, which is 8. And our answer is done in such less time. Did you all like this trick? Yes? Okay, great. Now here, kids, we have one very special case. Now you all have to understand it very nicely that what is special about this case. So let us observe. So here we have a question. 1000 minus 500, 1000 minus 470. Now, here you all must be saying that, ma'am, here write down 10 and here write down 9. Okay. But no, this will not happen. Why? Because here we already have 0. We know that 0 can be subtracted from 0. It is just nothing. So we will simply write down 0 here. Because 0 minus 0 is 0. We will apply Nikhilam Sutra from here. Okay. So I will be writing this is my last digit now. Last from 10. All from 9. So what is 10 minus 7? It is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. And what will happen to this one? We have to always take a predecessor. So what comes before one? Before one comes zero. But no need to write zero here because it doesn't create any change in our answer. I hope you all get the trick really well. Shall we move ahead? Okay. So let us go ahead and do some questions. So now let's try solving this question together. 100 minus 19. Let us see who is going to do it first. So you have to just remember the sutra in your mind. 100 minus 19. 100 0, 0 minus 19. What is the sutra? Last from 10 and all from 9. So this from 10, this from 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. And for this you have to take the predecessor what comes before one zero comes so no need to write zero here it will not make any change to our answer is it fine kids i hope you all get it well okay so now let's try another question so here now we have 10000 minus 9834 so we have 10000 minus 9834 so let us see who will do it first okay so keep the sutra in your mind that is very 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 important so last from 10 all from 9 so what is 10 minus 4 it is 6 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 9 is 0 and for this number always write predecessor now I will not write down predecessor here because we have done many questions based on it. So predecessor of 1 is 0. So 
So no need to write zero here. It's already done. So our answer is 166. Okay. Now let's move ahead. We have one more question. 10,000 minus 1056. So let us see who will do it fast. Okay. So 10,000 minus 1056. So how will you do it? Last from 10 and all from 9. Okay. So what is 10 minus 6? It is 4. 9 minus 5 is what? 4. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. And our answer is done in just few seconds. So kids, did you all enjoy learning this trick with me? Did you all enjoy learning Nikhalam Sutra with me? I will be coming up with some more special cases of Nikhilam Sutra in my upcoming sessions. So don't forget to join my upcoming sessions as well. So if you all want to learn all these with me, so make sure that you all are installing our live learning app, which is the Oda Class app from the Google Play Store. And you can be the part of our family by joining our Bridge Course program, which is starting from Monday. During this program, you all will be getting three maths and three science sessions. And these math sessions and science sessions will be taught to you with very special techniques. If you want to see these techniques, make sure you are joining our program. And how to join this program, I will be telling you all. During this program, you will also get a personalized tutor. So that personalized tutor will be your mentor teacher. Okay. And during this program, you will be getting homework on app test on app as well as the books in the form of the PDF format. So if you like all the features of our program, so make sure you all are clicking on the link in your description box, which is the bridge course enrollment link. Once you will click on that link, you all will find the pop up of enroll now. So first click on enroll now. You will be directed to the pay now option and you can complete the payment process of just rupees 29 using Paytm, debit card, credit card, UPI or net banking. So fast click on the link right now and get yourself enrolled for our bridge course program. If you liked my teaching, if you want to study more from me, if you want to learn more about Vedic maths. And once you will be enrolled in this program, you will get the chance to learn and earn at the same time. Now, you must be wondering how you all will earn. So in our program, we believe in rewarding the kids. So you will be rewarded ample of times during this Bridge Coach program. And those rewards will be ODA coins. And all the ODA coins can be utilized at our special place, which is ODA Mall. So in this Oda Mall, you all can purchase items like smart water bottles, smart watch, smart soundbar and smartphone. So if you want to learn and own, make sure you all are enrolling and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Okay. Bye bye kids. Meet you in.